All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd just like to say, it, yeah, um, if you're just tuning in uh, uh, to this YouTube broadcast, I had to let go of the intro, and we're going right into the school of uh, Pythagoras, uh, which is pretty interesting stuff, um, and how this uh, this guy started his own secret society in his own right, Pythagoras did. Um, he's also um, Pythagoras. He is the inventor. He, he's Greek, by the way, ancient Greek. And uh, he's the inventor of algebra, and uh, strangely enough, also the inventor of numerology. Uh, so we're going to dive right into Pythagoras. Okay, not literally. We're not going to dive into Pythagoras, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so the followers of Pythagoras, uh, they referred every object, uh, planet, man, idea, in essence, to some number or other. Uh, and uh, in turn, uh, the, the Hebrew catalytic system does the same thing, but uh, we'll, we'll get more into that later. However, uh, in a way, uh, most moderns must seem to think is curious or mystical or superstition, what have you. So, uh, Pythagoras lived about 300 AD, and... Uh, He explained that uh, all ideas concerning the nature of the things um, could be wrapped up in a numeric system, or what we call now what we call an equation. Every uh, basically, Pythagoras believed that everything can be boiled down to a numerical equation, which, uh, of course, mathematics and science is starting to prove him right nowadays. Um, uh, the term uh, matrix is actually a mathematical a mathematic term for a mathematic table um, where you have numbers going up and down the left side and numbers going um, uh, to the right across across the top and uh, that's how anyway it, yeah look into uh, you know matrix as a mathematical formula it's you'll you'll see why it got made into that movie per se uh, if you study a little bit of mathematics but uh, Anywho, uh, yeah, so he thought everything could be reduced to numbers or a uh, mathematical equation. And, okay, then we have H.P. Blavatsky uh, in her book Secret Doctrine. She says that numbers are a key to the ancient views of cosmogony. And in its broad sense, spiritually as well as physically considered to the evolution of the present human race all systems of religious mysticism are based on numerals numbers the sacredness of numbers begins with the great first cause the one by the way uh the great first cause um i just i would just i'm going to digress a little bit here but the great first cause is actually if you wanted to look at a symbolic representation of the great first cause that's what a swastika is. Uh, because th they call it also the great swirling or something like that, but uh, or the, the the great spiral, the the, the solar cross, whatever. But yeah, the, the, they believe that the great first cause comes from this sort of spiral whirlpool effect. And you know, so if if you look at the swastika, yeah, and then spin it around real fast, you'll see how it sort of you know sort of looks like a whirlpool or a spiral. Anywho, so everything comes from the one and ends only with naught or zero. And, uh... So, let's move on. These guys love numbers. The entire World Trade Center was underlined with the occultic number 11, which I've already stated. Occultists all over the world knew exactly what had happened and who did it. Uh, now, I'm, now I gotta say, uh, when that happened, I was already sort of, I'm 41 now, so I mean, I started studying this kind of shit when I was a kid, I was, uh, back in the 80s, uh, I don't know, like late 80s, early 90s, and that kind of stuff, so by the time 2000, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know, I go a little bit more into my history in an earlier show, but anyway, I had already been studying numerology and stuff at that point, 
and so and I mean I mean mind you I'm no in by no means an elite I mean you know I, <laughs> I come from a pretty working class background but uh, I just always found this crap uh, interesting but uh, anyway yeah so it was like right away uh, it's funny that that uh, this is mentioned because like right away I knew something was up I knew this was some kind of weird ritual because I had already already been studying numerology I had already already knew about you know guys like the Masons and these secret societies and the the secret esoteric religions of the elite and that kind of thing and uh so it was weird i i did but you know i it's hard to pin you know uh, the, the funny thing of it's i guess it's how these guys work you can't really pin the blame on one particular person because it was not done by one particular person it was done by the dark brotherhood a group of individuals there might have been one serious scary wizard behind, behind it all and uh honestly i'm not afraid of that shit anymore i'll, I'll be uh, we were talking a little bit about that in the chat room earlier you know when you start going down this road you start encountering some scary shit and uh, like i said i'm 41 and i've been down this road since the 80s and i have encountered some scary shit and i've learned tricks along the ways you know and one of them is just like i don't uh, yeah, one of them is I, like I don't I don't give a fuck, you know. It's just like I don't care if you guys want to come get me, come get me. But and I've already gone through this phase where uh, I sort of was being hunted, and, and like I mentioned it the other day. I guess this was about five or six years ago. I was totally under the radar. All my friends were going to jail. I was being watched, and, and it's 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 funny. These guys are a bunch of pussies, really, because they basically they they try to intimidate you. Uh, but then if you stand up and fend for yourself and show a little bit of balls, they back down right away. And I'm not saying they do it 99% of the time, but most most of the time they do. They're fucking pussies. That's all I got to say about that, ladies and gentlemen. So don't be scared. Don't buy into the fucking fear. Fuck them! Idols of past pagan societies have been formed in the likeness of fish, birds, animals, the sun, the moon, and the stars. The mathematics underlying science and science itself they also worship inherent power as what they believe numbers possess so uh all right y'all need to understand that the occultist literally feels um that they they are the embodiment of Paul's explanation of a pagan or a Satanist, uh, they exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, it, I think, you know, to paraphrase that, I think what they're saying is, is these people that think somehow, you, you know, you can find happiness and your life will be okay if you keep going down this road where you think money and power are somehow going to give you fucking security. Uh, and I'll be honest, I, I went down that road in the past, and you know what I found out? The higher up you get in that game of money and power, the more scared you are, because the more people you have coming out to get you. And But aside from, from that, though, you can't take any of this shit with you when you die, uh, period. So, I mean, at the end of the day, all that really matters is, is if you can fucking sleep at night. If you know what I'm saying. I mean, you know, so it's like... Not, you know, if you can screw somebody out of a fucking nickel, you know? I mean... <laughs> so, you can get a little power over somebody. I mean, it's, all, it's all a fucking illusion, you know? So, anywho. I get so mad sometimes when I, you know... I, I just remember some of the dealings I had with... Because they're so fucking childish and petty. I mean, they they really are. Once you once you go head to head with these people, you realize they're fucking cunts. They're pussies. They're 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 childish. Uh, they're actually kind of stupid. They, they exist on sort of a sixth grade level, and you know they giggle about like stupid jokes and you know, <laughs> it's fucking retarded. But anyway, the Illuminati ended the First World War according to Albert Pike's occult plan to produce the Antichrist. And now. This is interesting, uh, an interesting fact about the end of World War II. I'm going to read that, and then I'm going to go into another break. Uh, they deliberately ended, uh, the powers that be, deliberately ended World War II on the 11th hour, on the 11th day, on the 11th month. By the way, 11 times 3 equals 33, the highest degree you can reach in masonry. 33 is also a master number. 
Uh, but I do believe, yeah, still, 11 is their favorite master number, because every all the other master numbers are just multiples of 11. Anywho, the, sign, the signing of the Armistice Agreement was under, undergirded by three 11s. So we have zeroed in on the number 11, because this tragedy, uh, this ritual, whatever you want to fucking call it, is undergirded by this number. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to check the switchboard. I'm going to check out you guys in chat and say hi. And uh, I will, once again, I will be right back right after these words.